What up in this John? It's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black from playing a dirt bike game. Now, that opening little credit scene, shout out to Aiden, the guy that just came back from the land that came third place. Yes, that guy. Um, huge shout out to him, man. His link will be down in the description below to his YouTube. Uh, thank you so much for literally just showing off like that. Um, I thought I'd get you on here. Um, Aiden is a really cool friend, um, really cool person, and I thought, who other than a homie that I already know, uh, try this setup out that is a pro, and he had nothing but good remarks. I'll sprinkle it in throughout the video of just kind of what he was talking about, but thank you for just running those laps and showing that this, this you know, I can get stuff done from not an amateur perspective, but a pro perspective. And I know a lot of you guys might be like, oh, well, he's a pro, like he can do anything. But, you know, at times a lot of people say, well, the, it's not, you know, setup doesn't mean nothing. But really running this Kawasaki without a setup, you can see in my first few videos that it's it's hard, man. It's, it's a hard thing, especially not having a good one. So I think we have this thing fully dialed down. Shout out to Murph, shout out to Panda and shout out to two, DC2J once again. Um, obviously, you know, there's always more practice to be done, but yeah, um, I did do a race, but I'm not going to really do that. I'm not going to like show the race footage too much. I'll probably show off the spots where Aiden was just kind of talking about the bike and uh, we'll move on from there. But as always, I just want to show you guys my practice about what I've been doing. And so far, what I've been learning is, you know, flicking back more to keep the, uh, the keep the front end down like that. And um, yeah, just kind of working on my seat bouncing and all that good stuff. So, and my drives through the whoops. And I know obviously every whoop section is completely different. So it's it's literally just me having to kind of figure out the kinks here. But so far, Houston round four, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. I feel like I have a very hard tendency of brake checking in the middle. Like, I know you obviously want to press your front brake at times, um, but I feel like I press it too much for no, or not, not my front brake, but I brake tap a lot um, when I'm going through up in the air for no reason. Like, I feel like I keep being brake heavy. Oh man, I was actually sideways. You could see me being sideways there, but I feel like I'm very brake heavy for no reason. And I, I don't know where that habit came from. I think it came from like me here and like, oh, you should brake tap in midair if you're gonna OJ. So now I think every jump that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna OJ and I just, I don't need to brake tap. So as soon as I break that habit and realize that I don't need to do that. I think we'll be golden. Like right here, I usually would break tap for no reason. So I think I was happily I was like talking about it, but and then the sand section I kind of went too far. Do I even need to be in fourth gear there? I feel like I could go down the third, but we'll see. It's all working out the kinks, man. Thank you guys for 3,300 subs as well. I think I said that in my other video, and hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's video of like two raw footages, raw 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 races I should say of me just literally using this setup and kind of me working on my craft. I've never seen myself be so consistent in uh, racing and, and in a race environment in Supercross and and that like have a really such a good, you know, bike setup. So it was really cool to see round one and round two kind of just go crazy for me. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that back. Just going left to right. Yo, I was just going left to right. <laughs> yeah, that was cool, though. I was glad I held, held on to that. But yeah, it was really cool, man. And once again, like I said, you guys get that. Oh my God. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go check out that video. But if you guys get that video to hundred likes, I will release this setup. Um, shout out to Aiden once again, like he did test the setup and he did have a lot of good things to say. So I, I appreciate it a lot, but we're running a 101 right now. It's a high 101. Now my dude DC2J, I saw him run a 59. So I know it's possible. I just have to get, just gotta get that, uh, get it going. All right, keep it low. Break tap just a bit. Easy peasy. I feel like right there, I probably could have break tap to got the uh, front wheel down. So I think that's probably what it is. Break tap to get the front wheel down just a bit. Yeah, see like that. Just a break tap to get the front wheel down. I was gonna go for the triple, but I knew it wasn't gonna happen. I was already out of sync. Oh, oh, oh my God. Let's go. See, hey, progression, baby, progression. Oh, too, too much, too much, too much, too much. Let's go. I saved it. I'll take that. I feel like um, working on that, working on that, downsiding that table or that up and over, up and under, whatever you want to call it. Um, that probably was shave, like shave off of for sure full like second of my time. So I'm out of one minute though. So I did, I did come down and that's the hugest thing that we want to focus on, ladies and gentlemen, is actually uh, putting our times down. Now I did race the race. Um, I did do the race before I'm recording this video, so that's probably why I don't want to show it because like I didn't give 
I didn't really put out much practice, I should say, on this track before uh, <laughs> before I recorded that, and I felt like I should have done this practice and had this prepped before I, I went into it. But hey, that's okay. Trial and error, amateur amateur excuses, <laughs> amateur excuses. You know, not knowing. But hey, we're cooking. See, let's try to beat the let's try to beat the ghost. Let's try to beat the ghost. Try to beat the ghost. Stay up on top of that. Drop down the second. It's not. Oh, oh, I OJ'd again, or I went too high. Dang, I feel like I need to give that little last little oomph, you know, so I can get over it, but I already have enough oomph. Let's try to triple out. Yeah, I'll take that. See how I, like, I'm pulling down on my right analog stick to, like, keep the front end down? I was doing a lot of pull forward, and that was actually beating me up, dude. Absolutely beating me up. So, but we're going to get it right. Like, right here, pull forward and, and back. Sit down a little bit, stand back up. See bounce. I didn't even really, not see bounce, but I guess get closer to, to the bike. But yeah, see a little brake tap, saw the little brake tap and how I kept the, the front end down. I'm slowly learning, I'm slowly learning. And I'll take this side. I possibly could triple in there, but I feel like I still don't know the line. So I'm just gonna ride, I'm gonna do the amateur line slash, slash slow line, just cause like I wanna stay consistent. And I feel like I definitely need to come back around and try to go for the big line just to see if I can. Just to show you guys, you know, hey, maybe maybe he's gonna, you know, go a little buck wild, get a little chance in there. Now, right there, I need to make that, and then I need to keep the front end down like that. See, instead of pulling forward, I keep pulling forward, and that's what's making me case more. I need to have the front end down just like that. So, let me know down in the comment section as well if, like, that what I'm doing right there is okay and actually right, and or am I doing something wrong, and could I be doing it better? But is that, like, how you, is that technically how you stay lower to the ground and scrub a little bit? I don't know. I feel like I'm doing it. I, I feel like I'm doing okay. Uh, I saw that coming. I did not turn it up. I saw that coming. I did not turn it up. It's all right. We'll get back on the horses. Now, I've been watching a lot of people's other con, like a, little, a couple other people in my friends' content. Shout out to Skizzy. Shout out to the boy Skizzword. And uh, yeah, I just see everybody trying to you know prep for this uh, prep for Supercross. And I, I was watching a little bit of lower uh, lower subscriber people under a thousand. Uh, shout out to Sin. Uh, that's my dog as well and I just enjoy watching their content for sure and it kind of keeps me that insight of like you know I, I, I have like a, a good amount of friends I should say youtuber friends I like watching and Aiden as well and you know we'll go from there shout out to Murph you know I'm just, I'm just doing free shout outs right now you know I'm just doing them free shout outs but I, I'm happy to play with them and they come through here every night it's such a fun time shout out to Stratos that's my dog, man. I saw that he did a, <laughs> saw he did like literally an enduro uh, cross thing, literally completely backwards. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I probably would've done the exactly same thing because I've never rode it before, so. But that was too much, that was too much. So, I'll take that. I feel like I'm just kind of rambling on at that point. I need to focus up more. And tough block, shout out to tough blocks, right? Shout out to the toughies. Yeah, I feel like I just need to focus up more, but. My biggest thing is I, I did not want to give up on this Kawasaki, not just yet. I did not want to give it up on it yet. And I knew that we were just missing something, like a key component. And it's literally the whoops. The whoops was the biggest thing on this bike. And I, I, I feel like I figured it out. Like we, I feel like we have it. Like obviously, you know, am, this is an amateur trying to go through the whoops. But man, when I tell you that we were looking, like me, Murph, DC2J, when we were looking at uh, Aiden go through the whoops with this bike, I was like, yo, that is literally how you do it. Like he literally made this bike look like OP. And it, and I, I, I gotta say, that's why I wanted to get some footage of him doing it because I believe this bike is actually really good. And I feel like anybody that's really gonna do pro, like um, pro races for, uh, pro races for 250 um, aerial, I feel like you could use this bike. I feel like we have a good foundation for you and you might be able to tweak it way better, you know? I think the only thing he said he might wanna do is, you know, uh, change the front tire because it does get a little squirrely at times, which I do see. And I don't know really, I have to play with it myself, but it's usually when you're in the turns, that's what happens. All right, let's try to go for it. Nope, that's why I don't go. I, I don't think I can get it on the left side. I feel like the, the line I've been taking on the left is more 450 wise. And then the one on the right, is, it's a one for the 250 that's going to get you that pop. So we'll come back around, and then I mess up through the whoops. Gosh darn it. It's all right. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. I enjoy my progress, though. I mean, you guys, Aiden, Aiden said it best today. 
you know all all it takes is supercross is literally a such a learning curve because it literally all, all you can do is practice like there's no such thing of of trying to cheat your way into it like you literally just have to put down your own laps your own practice and and it's just gonna click to you and so far i have seen myself from round one to round four getting better so huge huge w and I don't, I don't care what anybody says saying that you don't need a setup to go fast, but yes, you do. For Supercross, I feel like you do. Ha! <laughs> 100% yes, you do. Maybe motocross, you can get away with it, but here, it's not flying, pal. There we go. Brake tap, pull down. All right, let's go for the right side. Let's say third gear. Let's go right side. Dang it. I mean, hey, I'm, I got through it. I, I didn't fall. That was ugly, though. That was so ugly. That was so ugly. I got through. Dang it, I almost got through. Ah, all right. I just wanted to try one last lap for you guys. I feel like I've got 14 to 15 laps in. I did kind of reset and take off, too. So actually 13 laps. So almost 15 laps of practice. Pretty good video, I would say. And I, I shaved down my time pretty early. Now I just feel like I'm talking a lot. I'm not necessarily flustered, but I'm just doing nonsense. So I would love to get that that 59 though. I think that would be oh right there. Staying low. Alright, he's up here. Here. Triple out. Okay, I'll take that. There we go. I just watched him. Good good run through the whoops. No. Maybe. I'll take that. Those are long whoops too. Oh, let's go. Downside it just right. Can we beat him? Is it enough to defeat Mr. Electric? Probably not. Maybe cutting close. No. Oh! Cutting close. Nah, not good. Oh! I ran a 58! Let's go! I ran a 58.4. So really, I think technically that would give me a pretty good lap. That might have qualified me. That would qualify me amateurs, maybe? I would have to take a look at that. Oh, let's go. Way to get it at the end, dude. Oh, my God. I'll take that. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm just going to run another one because I'm happy. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Yeah, there's no way that's happening. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. It's your boy, IBS Kelso, and I'll catch all of you, catch all of you in the absolute next one. Pa, 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 pa